Hey everybody, I just wanted to shoot a quick video. Um, this is in response to a question that someone had posted in a comment on one of my other videos about this Chevy Cruze Tesla style head unit that I've been putting a couple of other videos out for uh, for the past couple of years. And they asked if it were possible to install Nova Launcher, since this is an Android based uh, stereo, and use it to uh, get rid of this butt ugly interface that comes with it by default. This is what the stereo looks like when you first uh, fire it up and, and not really set anything up. Um, and I've temporarily, just for this video, disabled auto launching my navigation software, which would normally be Waze. Um, to kind of quicken things up. So this is what you would normally see. Um, but I have installed Nova Launcher on here. I was able to do that from the Google Play Store without a problem or any hitches. I didn't need to sideload anything. And um, after a restart, if you go into your settings and just scroll all the way down and tap save and reboot, even if you haven't made any changes, it'll restart the stereo. And when it comes back up and starts to load the interface, it'll ask you or prompt, do you want to use the default, what they call index uh, home screen manager, or do you want to use Nova Launcher? And it's at that point that you can set it to be your permanent home screen. So now, as you'll see, if I tap the home button, uh, this is the default uh, Nova Launcher screen. One of the things that this revealed to me after I had installed it is that there are a lot of other little applets or modules that you don't normally have access to, at least not through the installed app list that you can access through the app bar thing at the top. Um, so your selection is far more limited by comparison. However, almost every single thing you'll find in here, with the exception of a few obvious things like a calculator or a calendar app, or whatever you install after the fact from the Play Store, is not useful whatsoever, either because there's no interactivity to it, or it's not in English, or it wasn't meant for this vehicle. We're here to try and get this butt ugly interface out of here, and uh, I've discovered that this factory setting applet does actually have additional settings that this settings widget does not. So if we dive into this, the first thing that you'll see is it's, uh, I believe this screen, this car type menu, is intended for whoever makes these stereos um, or sets them up and then sells them to have access to some quick launch templates that configure some of these settings um, and and then they can be on their way and they don't have to dive into the details and set every single one. So this by default is in my case set to General Motors Cruise and I want to leave it that way because that's what I'm driving. There is a menu in here for an MCU upgrade which I would highly caution you to not mess with. I don't want to mess with this. I am afraid of what I might do by accident with it. Uh, the MCU being the control unit that runs your engine, uh, so I I don't I don't <laughs> I don't want to touch this. I, I don't know what it can or can't do, uh, so uh, ignore this. The one thing we are interested in though is in the system settings, and and there's a lot of a uh, a couple of these are sort of repeats of what you might find in settings here, but a majority of this is also stuff you don't want to adjust, like the Bluetooth module, for instance. This is probably an internal chipset that is uh, bottom line is I'm not going to talk about this. Uh, what we want to focus on are these two lines here. First, the UI style does nothing. <laughs> I know it says user interface or UI style, but if you tap it, all of these selections are identical. I've tried changing these and doing a save and reboot, and it seems to have zero impact. But the UI number, which is what I think this stands for, NO, I'm not sure. XXXX is the default which is this interface here. But if we tap that, there's a couple of other options in here. And I'm going to step through these uh, real quickly and show you what each one looks like. So first I'm going to pick out this AYX2, and then we're going to go down to the bottom and hit Save and Reboot. And with the magic of editing, I'll cut forward after this has finished restarting and show you what it looks like. Ta-da! All right, this is what that first theme that we picked out looks like. You'll notice a drastic change in appearance. Um, <laughs> I don't have any terminology to give you in terms of like describing the style, but it is what it is. Um, and as mentioned before in previous videos, this is non-functional. It's just informational. It'd be great if you can get rid of it, but even if you could, 
you still have these buttons that you would never want to get rid of volume control home button and back so i would uh, you know beg to differ on you know what to do with those we don't have any physical buttons to fall back on and we can't just notch this out because you might have an app like a gps navigation thing that has its own on-screen buttons that this might try to overlap so you know next best thing is at least make it look less uh, ugly so this is the first uh, theme that I found. Let's uh, go, go back into factory settings one more time. And then system and change this to the AYX alone. And then we'll scroll all the way down again and save and reboot. And we'll cut forward in time once more. And here we are. Um, this is my personal favorite. It uh, looks a little more polished and not, I mean, I don't mean that just literally, but you'll notice in the last theme um, that like the home button previously was sort of cropped off or chopped at the top, like it didn't quite fit in some sort of window that it was supposed to be fitting through. I don't know. The other thing I like about this is it, it really seems to blend nicely with the, the dark theme in ways. So palette wise, it's a nice fit. Both of those themes, this one and the one that I just showed a moment ago, have a different set of icons along the top. Um, it's a far cry better than this uh, this home screen, or at least as far as that Nova Launcher is concerned. So there you have it. That's how you change your themes. You want to go into uh, get uh, Nova Launcher or some other launcher that would access the rest of these apps, open up factory settings, dive into those other settings for the, the theme UI, and change it there. It'd be cool if there were more to pick from, but this is a, a big improvement over what I've been running with for the last year and a half or so. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.